This is the cathode ray tube which emits X-rays. It has a negatively charged cathode and a positively charged anode. And it works under an electric field. The cathode emits high velocity electrons which go and hit the atoms in the anode. At the atomic level, the high speed electrons will hit and knock out the innermost K shell electron creating a vacancy. To stabilize the atom, it is important that this vacancy be filled. Thus, an outer shell electron in this from the L shell comes to fill this K shell vacancy. The difference in the potential energies of these two shells will be emitted in the form of characteristic X-rays. These are known as characteristic because they are unique for a specific atom and its orbital and it also helps in the identification of that atom if the energy is known. This process will then create a vacancy in the L shell and this process can repeat again. Characteristic X-ray emission is represented by two letters, for example, K alpha in which K represents the vacant shell and alpha represents the shell from which the filling electron has come, which is L shell in this case. Similarly, in K beta, K represents the vacant shell and beta represents that the filling electron has come from the M shell. This is known as the psych bar notation. This difference in energy between the two shells can also be used to emit an outer electron and this process is known as the Oze electron emission. This creates two vacancies in this uh, atom and this is known as double ionized atom. It is represented by three letters X, Y, Z where X represents the vacant shell which is K in this case. Y represents the shell with the filling electron which is L in this case and Z represents the shell which emits the Oze electron which is M in this case. It is the atomic number which decides which of these two processes will occur. If the atomic number is low, Oze electron emission will be preferred because the nucleus will have weaker force of attraction on the outer electrons so they can be easily emitted. Whereas if the atomic number is high, the hold of the nucleus on the outer electrons will be more and characteristic X-ray emission will be preferred. The probability that a particular shell vacancy will yield characteristic X-rays is known as fluorescence yield and it is represented by omega k with the subscript being the vacant shell, k in this case. This graph shows that as the atomic number increases, the probability of X-ray emission also increases. Remember that the Oze electron is different from the internal conversion electron which will be discussed in a subsequent video.